I was trapped on an island and I can only have one album and one bitch. That's a good question, man. So I might have to do Marvin Gaye, man. Cause you can't have some hardcore rap shit in the, on the island, you got one bitch. I probably have Drea from the Bad Girls, or whatever the fuck she on. Um, Reasonable Doubt, that's one of my favorite albums. If I get Jennifer Lopez, kid, Blueprint, and it'd be my wife. Cause I don't need no bitches, I'm good. Be ready to die, and one chick, yeah, right there. <laughs> if I was trapped on an island with one album and one girl, well let's start with the easier part. The girl, I gotta go with my wife. Probably a fucking filthy dick sucker. One album if I had to choose would probably be Tribe Called Quest, Midnight Marauders. At MOP Firing Squad. Three bricks in my backpack, three. They gotta be this little lusty ass video joint. I just bust the ass recently, it was mad good. Well the bitch would have to be my girl. Shout out Asia. And I always fall back on, on the uh, Notorious B.I.G. The Life After Death CD is always, that's like my favorite CD, man. I would have to be. Phil Collins, album, whichever one, Elvana. No. One song that inspired me to rap is Juicy by Ben because it, it, it talks about the struggle with him coming up. Juicy, Notorious B.I. More Money, More Problems by Biggie Smalls. Growing up, Mace was like my biggest influence when I first started writing. I went from old school Chevy to drop top Porsches. Couldn't walk a mile off in my Air Forces. That shit was hard as fuck. I would listen to Funkmaster Flex and that was, I wanted to be him. And then I became a big Howard fan and then I wanted to be him. I used to do this DVD called Maybach TV and I used to film, it's funny, we used to sell our DVDs here two years ago and we got locked up. I was like a camp counselor. That was like the only job I ever had. I did after school care for kids, played basketball with like sixth graders all day, dominated. I used to work in the Gansevoort Hotel and on 14th Street. I was there for two weeks. They fired me, man. I worked in Dwayne Reed. I worked for Verizon, but I got fired because I was too young. Like I was only 17. My mom took me up with the job. I worked Domino's for two days. Two weeks and two days and I quit. I showed up in a mink to pick up my check. Like, it's fuck this bullshit, I don't need this shit. My pops made me work in Wendy's like a bitch ass nigga. I used to work in Key Food back in the day. I used to stack the shelves back in the day when it was my first job, 15, 16. And I sold steroids. One. <laughs> next year. Oh, well, I'll be there next year, you know what I'm saying? Next year. I'll be there next year. Right. Bam Bam Bronson, Duck Down TV. ASAP folks, shout out to Duck Down Music. Shout out to Duck Down Music. Yo, you know what it is, Peter Rosenberg from Hot 97. Big shout out to Duck Down Music. Hey, yeah, it's Joey Bad checking in. Shout out to Duck Down Records, one of the original true hip hop labels. Duck the fuck down, man.